Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can uh, set up or how we can manage our secrets in Spring Boot uh, application. And along with that, I'm going to give you a hands on demo with that. So, with uh, regard to achieve our target, I've already set up a repository with the name Docker. And in that particular repository, I have a directory with the name Eureka Spring Boot uh, Secret uh, .zip. In that particular directory, uh, I have a zip file. So let me show you that this one zip file. So you have to simply download this uh, zip file. I've already downloaded this zip file. So simply I'm going to extract. So in this uh, zip file, we have uh, our application. And in that particular application, uh, which is the Spring Boot application, I've just set up the uh, environment variable which we are going to uh, call uh, in docker so uh, let me show you that uh, what it is in it uh, and let's run the application as well so uh, let it compile okay so if i navigate to the source main and java Okay, so uh, click on source shares and um, when navigate to the shares controller, let me click here and I have uh, done, I have done some settings here with regard to the setting up of environment variable. So uh, this is the environment variable I have set up with the name um, shirt size. So I'm going to call this environment variable. Uh, so I'm calling this environment variable here. So let me uh, show you and the default value of this environment variable is going to be the wrong value. You can set up any value. So uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, show you guys that um, um, how it is going to be uh, you know, run on your local machine. And then I'm going to push this code for the compilation purpose to the play with Docker uh, where I can use that free resource to compile the code. But first, uh, let me show you that by default, uh, this application is uh, running on port 880. And uh, I also, uh, I'm also going to expose the same port in my Docker file. Uh, the thing I need to tell you uh, also that I'm not going to, exp I'm not going to define any environment variable in my Docker file. So everything is defined here. So if I navigate uh, to my local host and um, navigate to port 80 uh, slash shirts, so this is the wrong value it is showing and it is calling this uh, particular uh, value which I've already shown you guys. So um, this is the value, okay? So I'm going to stop this. Uh, this is the demo with regard to the setting up of environment variable. So what I'm going to do uh, is to simply uh, push this code to play with docker uh, where I'm going to show you that how you can uh, I mean compile and we are going to uh, use the free resources so um, what I'm going to do is to simply uh, let me delete other stuff as well okay I'm going to uh, launch simple free instance I'm going to click uh, I'm going to copy the address ssh address uh, i'm going to do the secure copy so i'm going to copy this particular zip uh, to that particular instance let me zoom in a bit for you guys so simply i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to put that in the home directory and i'm going to do scp sorry scp and i'm going to simply drag this zip here and <clears throat> The path is going to be uh, av available in this particular shell. So what it does, it is going to push the zip to that particular, uh, I mean, machine. So if I do, you see, this is the zip now available. So I'm going to do um, that. Simply paste the command again, and I'm going to SSH into that particular machine. And simply, I'm going to uh, unzip this one. Okay so simply unzip and for the compilation purpose i'm going to 
use the Apache Maven um, 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 Docker image. So with regard to uh, the documentation, uh, uh, let me show you the documentation which we are going to follow for the compilation. So in my previous video, I already showed you how to compile the code. So simply you have to navigate uh, to that particular link and uh, it is it is actually already available in my repository. So what I'm going to do is to um, copy this command simply and I'm going to compile this jar. Uh, I'm, I'm going to compile this file and uh, make it a jar of this. Of jar of this. So what I'm going to do is to simply replace this value of ptv sports uh, dot cloud geeks dot ca2. <coughs> Excuse me. So simply copy this, and I'm going to paste here. So uh, what it is going to do, it is going to um, um, do the compilation process and set up a jar for us. Let me show you the whole process as well. So uh, let it run. If everything works fine, uh, it is going to set up our um, jar file and build is going to be successful. So let it complete. Uh, it will not take a lot of time as you know, it is a very tiny application I'm showing you guys. After compilation, what I'm going to do is to simply create one Docker file and um, from that Docker file, uh, I'm going to copy that particular jar into my image. And then I'm going to run that particular image and uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, pass uh, environment variable and you how you can call that and change the value in the environment variable and those values are going to be you know reflects uh, reflect back in your application. So let it complete. Um, build is successful. Now what I'm going to do is to make uh, in fact two directories one is going to be the parent and inside i'm going to create uh, the target directory and i'm going to navigate into docker target and what i'm going to do is to simply copy the um, jar file which is in the previous Spring Boot uh, secret app and shirts dot jar to my present working directory and simply I'm going to uh, navigate to previous directory and here I'm going to create one docker file through which we are going to build our image okay press I and uh, for that uh, code is also available. Uh, what it is going to do, we are going to do, or we are going to build our image uh, from this open JTK latest and we are going to expose port 880 and simply copy this stuff and paste it here, press save. Do docker build. Give this a tag. I'm giving them this my name and uh, the image is going to be built shortly. So I'm going to run this particular image and I will show you. Okay, uh, I forget to change uh, <coughs> the Docker. Uh, okay, navigate to the target. Okay, okay, it is saying that let me open the Docker file. Actually, I have uh, blindly uh, done the stuff, so the name of our application is let me just save it and let me do ls into the target directory and 
the name of uh, this jar is this one so let me update this one <coughs> so what I'm going to do is to simply do the replace uh, percent as substitute I'm going to substitute uh, PTV sports dot cloud geeks dot ca uh, with the name I have just copied and I'm going to remove the jar comment and do it globally and see everything is right okay and try to run the same previous command hopefully this time build will be successful so it is now success so <clears throat> let me show you the docker images <coughs> excuse me uh, now I'm going to run this image and for that uh, uh, if you uh, want to know the command as well so I've already I've already placed uh, some uh, documentation in my uh, directory as well for you guys so simply I'm going to copy this command uh, and I'm going to pass this uh, variable uh, shirt size is going to be large and <clears throat> I'm also going to show you the default value of this as well so um, for all this awesome <coughs> excuse me So um, I'm, I will be using port 880 for that. You see our application is uh, started. So if I navigate to my uh, Docker Hub, uh, click on this and if I navigate to the shirts, you see uh, the shirt size is large as I, I was passing the, uh, giving the value to this environment variable. So I'm going to press control C. So uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, remove this environment variable and run it again. Okay, uh, let me just do Dr. PS hyphen A. Okay, secret name, yeah, secret container is there so. Uh, let me remove every stuff from there as well. So uh, now I'm not passing any environment variable. Uh, it should return the default value, uh, which we uh, already seen that, uh, in fact, I've already showed you in my application. And this is the default value. Uh, let me just uh, drag that particular value. So default value is the wrong value, see? So if I navigate to uh, the same uh, path and just refresh it, so it is giving me the wrong value. So you guys uh, successfully uh, seen that, uh, I mean, uh, we are able to successfully pass our environment variables. So um, the idea behind it is that how we can secure our APIs, how we can secure our uh, secrets and um, these, this environment uh, variable is going to be, uh, this uh, string is going to be the placeholder for your APIs, uh, your passwords. So for that, um, I've already, uh, set up my uh, access keys and secret access key in AWS. So that would be the part of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, ne my next video. Uh, please uh, like, share and sub subscribe my channel and uh, um, I will be uh, back with the next video in which I will be showing you guys how you can um, use the AWS secret manager so thank you very good thank you very much guys uh, please subscribe like and share thank you very much